Bemidji's Paul Bunyan Mall is gaining a new retail store. Today, mall officials announced Kohl's will be their newest, te newest tenant. And as Emily Olson tells us, the new addition is creating a lot of excitement in the community. Paul Bunyan Mall has been around for a while, and with Kohl's and a new investor involved, it gives people more reasons to go. I think this mall was built in 1976, and that's a long time ago, and it could be showing its age, but this investor has done some things to improve it, painting the outside, putting new paint and carpet and furniture in the inside, and adding Wi-Fi, so there's a lot of reasons to come to the mall. It will be located next to Hobby Lobby in a portion of the mall where Kmart used to be. The addition of the department store is predicted to offer more shopping options to customers from Bemidji and surrounding areas. Having another store come into the mall is a Great, um, it's a great event because, as you know, as most people know, we are a retail center and not only our immediate 50-mile uh, radius, but a lot of people come from up in the borderland and across in Canada. And so this is just another reason to come here. The new Coles will also create more competition between stores which have been here for years, like Herberger's and JCPenney. However, this is seen as a positive and beneficial for everyone. JCPenney is quite happy that we're having them here because now the people coming here, what you don't see here, you'll, you'll find in the other store. It brings about competition and it brings about better experience for everybody. We've been here 95 years and uh, we compete with Kohl's in a lot of markets all across the United States and I think it's great for Paul Bunyan Mall. Everybody's going to benefit from this. The new Kohl's is expected to open in September of this fall. In Bemidji, Emily Olson, Lakeland News. Construction on the space began, re began recently. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.